Hey, what is up, good people? We are having a look at how to connect your Samsung dryer or Samsung washing machine. So this is going to apply as well to Samsung washing machines with the same design. How to connect them to the SmartThings app, to the internet, so that you can control them remotely. So we'll do this in two stages. The first stage, we're going to connect it to the SmartThings app. And I'll walk you through how to do all that. And the second stage is I'll show you how to set up your voice assistants, namely Amazon Alexa and Google Home. Before we start all that, you need to make sure that your internet connection is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. Otherwise, if you try to use the 5 gigahertz one, you run into some problems trying to connect. I've had experiences and a lot of people have had experiences where that five gigahertz one is not good enough for that connection with your dryer. Turn the dryer on. Then on the right hand side here, you've got this button here with a little phone or tablet with a Wi-Fi signal there. You need to press and hold that until it says auto pairing mode. Now I've already done that on mine. So it'll say AP here. That means that it's ready to pair up and hopefully by then you've already downloaded the smart things app on your tablet or on your phone to add a new device on there obviously you're gonna need like a Samsung account that is how they'll register your device so if you decide to use it on another device then you will know that it's already registered there. you're gonna need to download the smart things app Open it up, open an Samsung account. To add a device, you need to press this plus sign on the right hand side there. And on appliances here, it says home appliances. You're gonna press where it says dryer, if you're doing a dryer, if it says if it's a washer, you do say where it says washer. And then it takes you to Samsung. You select Samsung, select dryer, and then you can put the settings that you want. I've already done that for mine and it's really simple. It walks you through every step of how to do it and the instructions are there. But the main thing that gives a lot of people grief is trying to get that connection using a five gigahertz connection. So make sure you use a 2.4 gigahertz one. That one you have less headaches. So once you've got it all set up, then you can go open the dryer, press the dryer, and then you can see your dryer here. In, as you can see from here, it's showing you that you can send signals to the dryer, but you can't really connect, control it remotely. You can just send the instruction to the dryer, but there's no stay connect turned on. So you need to pr still press start on the dryer. All you can do is send a command to it. To avoid having to do all that, there is an extra step that you need to do within the app itself. So as you scroll down the page, you go down to the very bottom and it says stay connect there. You need to switch stay connect on and off. So st press stay connect on. And then on your dryer here, if you press this once, so you press that Wi-Fi tablet symbol thingy there and then that you have two symbols there showing that stay connect is on. So now if I press start, it's just going to send everything to the dryer. I don't need to touch anything on the dryer. So that's something that a lot of people have been struggling with, even with the washing machines. You need to make sure stay connect is on in the app and then you press the pairing mode button on here then you'll have those two six symbols to show you that it's got a connection within the app itself you can whenever you start a cycle you can see how far along it's going in the cycle so this one's saying it's still load sensing it 
but it's estimating that this cycle is going to take about two hours and 19 minutes and it shows you the time that it's going to finish that at about say 10 3 and it's showing you that it's drying and from here you can is it got a progress bar here as well where it's showing you so after it's load sensed it will show you the time that it's actually going to take it's actually going to take an hour and four minutes and it's going to finish at 8.49 and then you've got a progress bar here that goes around which will show you at which stage it has so you can whip up your phone have a look and see oh, okay yeah, it's, it's almost done you can actually also pause that cycle from here and you can cancel the cycle from here as well further down so you can select a couple of other cycles from here so if you just press where it says cotton there this is like scrolling through the menu using this dial on here so you can have different options like AI dry, quick dry, shirts, and it's giving you information on how the, the energy usage that, that most of them use. And you'll see that like the quick dry one uses a lot of mo lot more energy. That's mainly because it's got a hybrid in it and it's gonna use that heater to preheat it up so that it can make a quicker dry cycle. And you've got the more efficient ones, which are um, for your woolens, uh, your rack dry and air bedding care. Now, don't be alarmed when you see that. Obviously, it's three stars, but three levels, but it's a heat pump dryer, so it's not using that much energy. It's just trying to give you an estimate of how much energy it's going to use. And as you're going down, you've got different options that you can use. And yeah, you can just select whatever you want. So let's say I select quick dry. I press OK. So that's what's going to go on there. And you've got something else which is really handy, uh, laundry planner. So you can set it, it's like a timer that you have on your TV. You can set it to say, I want my laundry to be finished by this time. So this is pretty handy if you're going out, if you're going to work or you're going to sleep. Obviously you don't want your clothes just sitting in there and creasing. So what you can do is you can say, I'll be back from work by about, now it's about um, 7.47 a.m. You can say, I'll be back at work from work by about 1 p.m. So you can just adjust it so that it's finished by say 12.50 or 12.40 so that just as you walk in, it's finishing drying and then you can just take those clothes straight out of the dryer into your cupboard and then you can avoid all the creasing and stuff. You can actually delay it by up to I think 24 hours. So that's pretty handy. That's something that I really love with this Smart Things app something I think a lot of people will be able to use. So you can select a drying time dryer as well if you want, but we're not gonna use time dryer because we're gonna use sensor dryer. Then there's a lot more customization that you have here in terms of the dryness of the clothes. So you can say, I want the dry level to be more dry, normal dry, less dry or damp dry. Choose whatever works for you, more dry. Maybe if you wanna do things like towels, that take a lot more moisture, but normal dry seems to do the job pretty well. Then auto cycle link. So this is where you've got um, a washer and a dryer, and then you link them. If you look on the previous video that I did about the washing machine that comes with uh, this dryer, the 16 kilo one, you can, there's a cable that you actually connect the both of them. So if you stack this up on top of the washing machine or you have it next to the washing machine it can actually you don't need to touch anything on these controls when you finish your wash cycle you can just take the clothes straight off the washing machine and put them in the dryer and it'll know exactly what cycle it needs to do to dry your clothes so i think that's pretty cool if you can just keep that on and then it will do that automatically for you then wrinkle prevent so wrinkle prevent is a feature where for about the next three hours after it's done drying, it's gonna spin once so that the clothes just don't sit there and crease. So that's a wrinkle prevention program that you probably should always put on there so that you don't get any wrinkles on your clothes. Then you've got damp alert. So damp alert is just to tell you when your clothes are ready enough to be put 
in like iron dry if you want to iron dry them yourself then you can put on that alarm so that it tells you that okay these cords are ready to be iron dried then my cycle list is just a list of the cycles that you can have for drying that you can add and put more on there if you want not really used that much remaining laundry so going out mode you've got alarms here so this is a delay that a delay alarm that tells you um, when you go out that the drying is just about to start if you're out so that you know oh yeah it's it's about to start and then you can monitor it and then the remaining laundry alarm it tells you that the laundry has finished drying so you need to make sure you take them out of the dryer so it will occasionally move around to prevent them from getting creased so you can turn that on as well my favorites is where you can select your own cycles and develop your own dry cycle so you can say oh, okay i usually like doing um quick dry and i like to put on wrinkle prevent i like to put on damp alert and i'll save that as mummy or mummy one so, yeah. so if we save that so it's saved so it's saved as a favorite there so you can you can have it as your favorite there so you can just go straight in there and just start now no need to play around with all these options every time you open the app so that's pretty handy and of course stay connect as i said before that's the one that you use to have both the app and the dryer connected so that you can send the commands to the dryer without touching anything on the dryer so that's a that's something that catches a lot of people you turn it on here and then you also have to turn it on on the dryer itself you can control this dryer using voice commands so to do that you need uh, amazon alexa or google home you'll need to download the alexa app and sign up for an account and then open it up when you open up the menus you'll get where it says add device you need to press add device then you scroll down and look for whatever device you want to add on. In this case, you want to add on a tumble dryer. If you were doing a washing machine, then you'd put the option for a washing machine. So we'll go tumble dryer and the brand Samsung is our brand. And so then you'll click discover devices. So Alex is going to look for devices to connect with. You then need to go to the smart things app, then press on menu. And then on voice assistant here, you need to connect your Amazon Alexa account to the smart thing. So mine is already connected. The instructions are pretty simple when you do it. So just go ahead and do that. And once you're done with that, you can then use voice commands to control this dryer. So you can do things like saying, Alexa, start dryer. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. We're using voice commands. And then it's it tells you the time that it's going to take. And you can see on here. And now Alexa is a bit limited as to the commands that you can send to it at least in my observation of it hopefully with time as more developers work on this then they'll have more commands on it the other thing you can do with alexa is say alexa turn off dryer you can also control this using google home to use google home you need to download the Google Home app, then press this plus button in the menu, and then it will have setup device option. With the new setup a new device, then you can just add that new device on there. 
So you can choose your address and go through all these options and it will show you how to connect and choose the drive that you want to connect. It'll actually show up in there. So once it's done, you can see that it's got the dryer on there and it can actually show you the where, where it's at on there. You can actually send commands to it and it'll start doing it within the home app, Google Home app. So that's something that is really good with Google Home that you don't get with Amazon Alexa. And then you can pause that. I'll stop it. Yeah. Once you're done with that, you also then need to go to the Smart Things app and add that home that voice assistant to your Smart Things. So you go into Smart Things, then click the menu button, and on Voice Assistant, you then add Google Assistant here. So then these can communicate together, and then you can send signals and commands to the dryer. So with the Google Home app, you can send commands to it. With Google Home, you can say things like, hey Google, start dryer. All right, starting the dryer. Hey Google, pause dryer. Okay, pausing the dryer. Hey Google, start dryer. Sure, starting the dryer. So one thing that you can get with Google is that it can actually tell you how far along into the cycle the dryer is. Whereas with Alexa, you do not have that option. So that's something that you need to think about when you're adding these voice assistants. Alexa, uh, Google has a lot more to offer. So with Google, you can ask how far along into the cycle it is. To do that, you just say, hey Google, how long until the dryer is finished? The dryer will be done in one hour, three minutes and 51 seconds. Beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm just so excited into thinking how much more you can do with these once you get more con commands and more controls using these voice assistants. If you have any issues connecting your washing machine or your dryer to your voice assistant or to the SmartThings app, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help out. And as always, I always post videos on new washing machines and new dryers and even faults that come up with them and the solutions to fixing them. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that whenever you need me, I'll be there in your inbox. And also it goes a long way to help off this channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.